Hey dolls! So today I'm going to be showing you how to color your extensions. You're going to need a comb, a brush, a plastic bowl. I'm using L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach Powder and I'm using a 30 volume developer. And I straightened this piece in the last video and I didn't tell you guys I didn't I usually use this shea butter argan oil from um organics when I just straighten it but I knew I was going to be doing this video next so I didn't want to put any extra oils on the hair but you can get this for like five dollars at Walmart or go click on the link that is the FAQ section and then click on suggested hair care and it'll give you a link to the best price for this online but all right, I'm gonna go back to the coloring. All right, so <clears throat> you're oh, you're gonna need plastic gloves definitely because you don't want to burn your hands up with these chemicals. So what I like to do, since it's such a little piece, you're gonna open this up and it's a little scooper inside. And since it's not very much, since it's not very much hair, I'm not going to use a full scoop. So you just, oh, I got a rubber band in there. <laughs> Sorry. All right. You're just going to put that in there. And in fact, I will use a full scoop just to have enough. put that away and then we're going to use our uh, developer you're going to want to use 30 volume because they do have uh, 40 and I believe also a 20 and a 50 but if you're not really good at if this is your first try you're going to want a 30 because it it'll be slower than the 40 and you're going to be working with bundles like full bundles so you're going to want to be able to have time without it getting too quick, the color changing on you too quickly. All right, so what you wanna do, you're gonna wanna pour some of this developer in here. Pour enough to where it's a not runny consistency, but where it is just, you don't want it too thick or too runny. So this, this is a good consistency right here. So you're just going to want to eyeball that and stir it up. Just get all the lumps out of there. And that's going to be plenty for my little sample. I just wanted to make sure I had enough. Alright, so now we're done stirring and this is what my consistency looks like. Alright. Sorry. All right. So you're going to want to take your comb and make sure your hair is straight. And usually if this hair is curly, you're going to want to start from the bottom and work your way up to comb it. But mine is already pretty straight. So, and then, all right. So you're going to just start at the bottom and work your way to the top. Just like so. And if you're gonna ombre, you're gonna wanna make it, you don't want like this straight cut line like this. You're gonna wanna kinda put some strands in it like that. Just make it a little messy. You don't want perfect, a perfect straight line. That's not a good look. <laughs> All right, so I think I got enough on this side. So I'm gonna open my track up. Gonna open my track up like that. And then I'm gonna take my comb and comb through it. you're going to want to wet it really good so 
you won't miss any spots. Alright, then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. I'm going to comb it through. Let me scoot this bowl over. And then you just pick how far up you want the ombre. This is pretty close to the top. And if you want it at the roots, you can do it at the roots. Or if you want it in the middle, you can stop right there. But I'm just showing you guys. Just demonstrating. <laughs> Alright. And now, what I like to do is... I Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the foil. I like to use foil because I don't like to clean up a big mess. And it's just easier for me to do it this way. And some professionals use it to color it quicker if you apply heat to it. But I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to roll this up. Alright. And i leave it like that for a few minutes. For about 30 to 45 minutes. But you're going to want to check in between time. So you can check on which color that you want like if you want it a lighter color you're going to leave it on longer if you want a uh like a brownish color it, you won't have to put it on as long you're just going to have to eyeball it so i'm going to be coming back to you guys when it's closer to time for this to all right so it's been about 30 minutes and i did go ahead and put the blow dryer on it for like a few seconds and then I left it on about five more minutes so it might be longer if you don't use a blow dryer but we're gonna open it up and this is what color I got so far and I'm happy with that because after this video I'm gonna dye another color to show you how to put another another color on it oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna put some got some warm water to it. We're gonna rinse it out really good. Alright, and once you've rinsed it out really good, you're gonna take a little shampoo. I usually use organics, but I'm out, so I do have this little off-brand shampoo, and I'm just going to take some of it, and you're going to rub it through here, like this. Now, this is how I wash my virgin hair, so this is what I do when it means co-wash. Don't scrub the hair like you would when you are uh, washing your own head. Just run it through from top to bottom like that and kind of this is what I mean by scrunching it up like that you see how that curls already starting to come back <clears throat> all right so we're gonna rinse that out and you're gonna want to make sure all that dye is out of there Not dye, bleach. <laughs> Same goes if you're dyeing it. So I'm gonna wash it one more time just to be sure.
All right, so now we're going to take our conditioner. This is one of my favorites. It is Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner by Organ. All right, so with the conditioner, all you're going to do is uh, put some in your hand. And I already put it in my hand. And I have, you know, just a little bit. And I'm just going to rub it through the hair. massage it through there. Make sure you get it all over it. And that was enough for my little piece, but you probably want to squirt more in there. But this is how it looks so far. And I'm going to let this condition for about 15 minutes because my next video I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, color it like add color to this and so for now I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and then I'm gonna wash it out just like I did before with the shampoo so I won't be recording that part but stay tuned for the next part and I'll see you guys in a bit hey dolls uh, this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add color to your extensions now the first few videos I showed you how to bleach it and I would usually tell you to let it air dry, but if you're going to be dyeing it right after, I don't bother with deep conditioning it overnight until I have colored it. Then I'll deep condition it overnight. But I'm going to be using this Manic Panic. It's already ready, so you don't have to do any kind of mixing or anything. So all you're going to do is take it out and pour some in your bowl. And then you're just gonna put your dip your brush in there and run it through like this. I ended up blow drying this because I was short on time. But at the end, I'm going to re when I wash it out, well not wash it out, um rinse the you know the extra dye out of it I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna let it condition overnight and then that way the curls will return because when you blow dry it the curls tend to fall out but when you let it air dry your curls will come back so that's why I always say, please air dry it, don't blow dry it, because it'll it won't look the same. Then you're gonna want to comb that through. So just like the bleaching process, you want to make sure it's really thorough. So you don't miss any spots because that's always annoying if you miss a spot you have to go back in and recolor it and rewash it and recondition all right so So I'm going to go back over that one more time. Make sure I'm getting every blonde spot. Alright, and then I'm going to flip it over. And do the other side. You see it waving already? Comb it 
other side also. Make sure I got every spot on this side. And you can never have too much dye or bleach because you you really want to wet it really good for the color to sink in. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. And my little piece of foil. And the good thing about color, you usually don't have to rush through it like bleach because you're letting the hair no oh, I'm sorry you're letting the dye sink in instead of trying to lighten it because if you if you bleach it too long it could damage the hair and it could burn it up <laughs> and you don't want that to happen but you're gonna leave this on about 30 minutes and you can blow dry this to uh, add heat to it to make the color even deeper. So I'm going to be doing that also. So I got my blow dryer. And I'm just going to heat it up there. And instead of 30 minutes, I'm going to let, I usually let mine sit for like an hour just to make sure the color is in it really good. And then after that, you co-wash it. So you wash it out and you add the conditioner to it. And then you're going to. Hey dolls, welcome back. All right. So we have conditioned our hair after the dyeing process to get this beautiful pink color. Now I'm going to show you how to hang dry it. Now, I've kept it in the little bundle. So, well, I made a bundle, so it looked like your big bundles. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a hanger. And I like to uh, act like you're tying your shoe and do like that first little step where you cross it and do that. And I have a ribbon, but you can use like a rubber band or whatever you have to tie it around here. And then I tie it again around here, around the hang part, like so. And then you go hang it on your shower head. Well, not your shower head, your, um, your rod that your shower hangs on. And I let my hair air dry overnight, or how many ever hours you got. I just like to make sure it air dries because you can tell the difference if you watch that other video when I just blow dried it how it looked well this is Cambodian curly and the curls definitely came back it, it looks nothing like when I blow dried it and it's gonna look even better after it air dries this is still damp so you're gonna let that hang and that is it, and I'm going to show you guys what the final pro dry product looks like after it air dries. Alright, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.